Hey, hey, this is Seekers from Hackforms again, uh, making a quick tutorial on how to set up Dark Comet 5.2. Now, it's sad to know that the owner, Dark Quarter CS, won't be, won't be releasing any new ones, but hey, at least we have the older versions. Uh, 5.2, I believe, is the oldest version out, and today I will be showing you guys how to set it up. So, let's get started. I already have the Dark Comet 5.2 Winrock folder. I downloaded it. I will be re-uploading it. So just uh, check the description for the file download and let's get to it. Right click on the file and extract to Dark Comet 5.2, the third option. And it should create a folder. Now that we have the folder, we're going to run it. Alright, you're going to run the client and you just run it as administrator. Click on yes. Uh, your antivirus might pick this up as a false positive. Click on ignore. Uh, click on ignore again. Uh, and allow the access on it. Uh, now this should pop up. Okay. That's a good sign if it pops up. Uh, I'm sorry, this is my first time actually doing this. I've never really set up 5.2. The only closest version I have ever touched was 4.2, I believe. I didn't make a tutorial on that. So excuse me, this is the first time I'm actually setting this up as well. So uh, I believe we're going to click on this blue interface up here that says Dark Comet Rat. Uh, listen to new port. Uh, I'm guessing this is the port that we're going to port forward. Default port is always has been 1604. So we're just going to click listen on that. Sorry, listening. That's why. All right, so I automatically listens to it. All right, good. Uh, client settings. Uh, not sure. So what we want to do is build up the server. So you click on server model. Uh, quick, I guess. Quick would be nice. Stub ID. Uh, this, I know the stub ID is just uh, make it quick. Uh, just type in slave. Now your IP. Your no IP. This is whatever you make on noip.com. I've made uh, secrets. You know what, just let me double check, I don't want to confuse anyone. You, know, you want to go to noip.com and you want to sign in. If you did, you could just sign up for an account down here. Just sign in real quick. You know, noip is the usually, usually the easiest thing to do as it's really quick. You know, you just make your host, you add it, and then you download the client, and then you refresh it, update. That's really what it is. So you just log in, just waiting for it to log in. Not sure why it's taking so long. Waiting for noip.com to respond. Yeah, it should be a little bit, a few more seconds here. Uh, not sure why it's taking so long. Uh, it's just fucking ridiculous. All right, now that we're in, you're gonna add a host. All right. Host name, um, secrets, uh, dark comment. That's mine. All right. Usually, uh, people use no IP .biz, no IP .info, no IP .org. Me, I'm a type of .info guy, so I just go for .info. All right. So secrets, dark comment, no IP .info. That's mine. I'm just gonna, I right, make sure it's correct. And you're gonna scroll down on that page, and you're gonna hover, ho hover over to create host. All right. And now it should create the host. Alright, host secret start comment that noip.info has been created. Update will be applied within one minute. Alright. Uh, now, if you haven't downloaded the client, uh, go to the left side on the panel. There should say something about download client. Click on that. Alright. Now, depending on the operating system you have, you'll either have Windows, Mac, Linux, BSD, or Unix. Uh, I have Windows, so that's the uh, phone I'm going to choose. Windows and uh, now you just download it you accept the ULA and then you just uh, install it and then when you install it nothing's gonna pop up but that doesn't mean anything all you have to do is just go to your start and type in DUC and it should pop up ignore the other one that was there so I already had it running and now uh, a little icon on it should pop up on the right hand bottom side so right click that and click on show when you make a new IP a DNS and no IP, uh, it doesn't it doesn't update it. 
So you want to select host, and then it's going to download the groups and host. Just give it a second. I'm not sure why it's slow once again. All right, it updated. Uh, I'm going to click on that. See, secrets, dark comment, no IP, dot info. It isn't selected, therefore it's not updated. So you want to select on that and click save. Now, it's not necessary, but I do it anyways. I click on refresh now to refresh, and it should be updating. That's good. All right. Now your IP will be just made. I made secrets dark comment dot no IP dot info. The port uh, 1604, usually the regular port. Key name. Um, you know, you don't really want to name it dark comment rat. Um, so just name it uh, game server. It's just, it all depends what you're gonna use this uh, use it for. You can always change the name, uh, so don't worry. Uh, and this all depends on where you want to uh, install the uh, server to. Usually system 32, you know, is the best. All right, and generate the stuff small. You want it small in size, or you want a normal size? It just you know, it, it all depends on you. So I'm just gonna click normal. All right, and you're gonna save it on my desktop just for a quicker reference. Once again, dark comment wrap. All right, save. All right, it was successfully generated. Now, uh, probably my antivirus is gonna fuck this up. So I'm just gonna exit my antivirus real quick. All right. Uh, you know my Windows Defender as well. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll just click ignore. All right. We already created that. So now we can exit this. Now it's port forwarding time. Now you notice that we opened the port uh, the port 1604. That's what we're running on. That's what we're hoping to achieve. So go to your start menu. Type in CMD. All right, type in now IP config. Right? Now you're gonna scroll up just a bit. All right, and you're gonna find your IPv4 address, and you also want to find your default gateway. The default gateway is what you enter in your web browser to type to log on to your router, and then the IPv4 address is what you use to port forward. So let's open the internet page and type in our default gateway, which is 192.168. Point one point one. Now, username is admin, password is uh, password. That's usually the default, so just go with that. That's what I'm going with, and it'll hey log me in. If not, you can always try resetting your password and looking back on your your router box. You know, usually says it. Your admin, your password. So you just uh, have fun with that and you can try your luck with that. All right, now that I have neck here, um, its page is really simple to use. That's what I like about it. So all I have to do is really scroll down uh, and then find uh, port forwarding, port triggering, and type in the port that I want to open. Uh, just wait for it to load. All right. Um, add custom service. Service name. You know, it, it all depends. Um, if you live alone, then I guess you can type any name you want. Now, if your parents check up on you or do some of that stuff, then you might want you know to rename it something else in case they look it up and see what it is so just type in server you know there's a lot of things for servers and they see maybe that it's a server so they they probably won't even know that it's you so starting for again uh, dark comment uses 1604 and it ends in 1604 uh, stupid inspect element shit alright so 1604 server IP address again it's your IPv4 address which mine is 0.7 so all I have to do is just type 0.7 that's what I like about Netgear it's so simple you click on apply and everything should be working well I just close that alright let's maybe type in refresh or something I don't know refresh and let's see what happens when we run our server look at that ran my server dark comment slave new user uh, there, that couldn't get any simpler. I, uh, you know, you could fuck around with me, but you know that's not really gonna happen. Uh, you got some pretty sweet uh, features here. Might just use this instead of black shades at times. So thank you for watching. Um, comment, uh, feedbacks are always nice. You know, just how I can improve. This is my first video on uh, uh, throughout showing you what no IP is, how to set up the server, and for forwarding at the same time. So please, you know, leave any comments. How can I improve? You know, what was annoying, what was boring, what was long? And thanks again for watching. Take care and be there for the next tutorial coming up. See ya.